What's going on YouTube? GeoSnowRate here. So in today's video, I want to discuss a new remount that has been achieved by a new security researcher in the iOS field. And we're talking about this one in here. This dude, Laker, apparently says, quote, successfully mount on iOS 11.3.1. What this means? Well, he claims to have successfully remounted the rootfs partition on iOS 11.3.1. And if you remember, this is pretty much the nemesis of the Electra jailbreak. This is what prevents the Electra jailbreak from happening, the fact that Coolstar and the Electra team do not have a perfectly functional remount for the 11.3.x, including the 11.3.1. Now, I have never heard about this dude before, Laker, and taking a look at the picture in here, he is Chinese, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that we do have a window in here to this project, and apparently he used multipath and he used uh, what appears to be chillin because if you take a look in here a lot of the um, you know the verbiage that is presented in the debugging window is pretty much part of the chillin toolkit for those of you who do not know the chillin toolkit is actually a very very powerful jailbreak toolkit that you can actually use in order to build a jailbreak on top of it it will do the canonical patches and so on even resprings and you can integrate it in your code and of course call it from your code and you just need to have the kernel exploit and you will be good to go as long as the kernel exploit gives you task for BAD0. This is actually what I used in order to create the Osiris jailbreak and as I said this is very very powerful I have no idea why the Electra team didn't use it. My only hunch is that they already had their code logic built at the point where Chillin has been released and there was no point into switching since theirs works as well. But anyways it's very very good and it appears to be used in this coding here and yes if you take a look in here on this debugging window it appears that this dude in here managed to remount on iOS 11.3.1 however there are some problems and the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of you are tagging me in his comments in here and asking me to make a video so the problem is that he said it's not working twice uh, what this means is that if you remount once you will have to reboot your device in order to do a proper remount again which also hints to the fact that there might not be any persistence so for that I think he needs a persistence fix which is not included in Chilean. Now the problem with this uh, in here is that it's not working correctly so even though he did in fact um, you know achieve a full remount on iOS 11.3.1 it's not enough to be integrated in the Electra because on the state it is it's not going to be good enough to be integrated into a public Public jailbreak like the Electra. So why is this important then? Why I'm making the video? Well, people like this are very important. This dude simply took the uh, chillin, integrated it with the exploit and started messing around in order to find a way to remount, which is something very good because up until now we only had Jonathan Levin and the Electra team working on a remount or a bypass for the iOS 11.3.1. And for those of you who do not know, Coolstar said that they will be doing their own remount. He said in here, quote, we, Electra team, are working on fixing up Spark's bypass ourselves now. Please lay off Morpheus as we are working on it ourselves now. So he talks about this in here, which um, is a post made by me and Spark Zeng a few weeks ago, in which he says, quote, Our new research, iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak internals, remount root file system. By the way, we will have two talks about Apple security at DEF CON. Welcome to follow us. And uh, I think this dude in here is using a different approach. It's not directly working working on top of Minspark Zeng's remount, while Coolstar and the Electra team are indeed working on top of that. So it's good to see people trying different methods and trying different you know, ways to achieve the same thing, because we're bound to get an answer faster if many people contribute to the same solution. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, I really hope this dude in here will make progress. It looks pretty nice for the moment, I mean he does use Chilean and that's evident by the fact that he has some verbiage in here that is part of chilling but that doesn't really matter as long as his remount will get to work it's very good so i encourage him to continue his work and to try to get a persistence working on ios 11.3.1 anyways thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time peace out